What's up, guys? My name is Marcus Huskins, and thank you for joining me. As always, if you're enjoying this content, make sure to like, comment, share, and subscribe. And also be sure to hit that notification bell so you can be made aware as new content becomes available. In this video, I wanted to take a really quick look at a really fast way that we can bypass or deactivate multiple instances of Melodyne all at the same time really quickly. Okay, so I've got this track that I'm working on over here. We've tracked some vocals. I've done some starting point pitch correction with Melodyne, and I have an instance of auto-tune on the track as well, just to kind of smooth it out, but it's very, very transparent here. We'll have a really quick listen. Por un tiempo yo también caí a tus pies Como boba me creí cada pincel Tus promesas me saben a él Me saben a él Y es que ahora Okay, so let's take a look at this track On this track we have I'm going to do Shift Command A To select everything on track And then Option S to zoom it from left to right We have all these different events And I've done tuning on basically up to here but the idea is sometimes you're asked to basically deliver a raw rendered vocal track, which is just the raw region. Now, if that's something that I'm being done, in this case, I have this going through an 1176 into a Pultec into an LA-2A, and that's happening in analog gear on the outboard side. But let's say that I wanted to just export a raw vocal. One really quick way that we can do that, instead of coming in to each event and making sure that our inspector is open and then clicking down this drop down arrow and then deactivating uh, the instance of Melodyne. One really quick way that we can do that is if you click the performance text over here, it opens up the performance monitor. If we click show devices, we have all the different plugins that are instantiated on this track. Now I'm going to sort by type and event effects are at the very top. These are all of the open instances of Melodyne that I have active. So now I can just click each one of these, just like this. Now I've essentially deactivated all of these Melodyne instances. And then basically what I can do is just make a highlighted range selection, make sure that it goes to the very front of the song. And then we could do a drag and drop export right into the Studio One browser. Now, one thing to note here before I do that, I'm gonna click escape and let's deactivate all these inserts here. And also I'm gonna deactivate my bus compressor because this would basically force a real time export. So now if we go like this, we have our wave file of main Vox verse, and this is just gonna do an offline export. It's gonna consolidate and render one continuous audio file which would then be essentially our vocal take in its raw state and if I needed to send that to somebody else if somebody else was doing pitch correction or if the artist wanted to listen to it or plug it into another session anything like that now we have this vocal track actually let's just drag this in right over here right there and now this is just one raw file and this doesn't have any pitch correction, but any of the edits that I've done in terms of uh, if I've done any fade-ins or anything like that. And also there's no pitch correction across the board over here. So very, very simple. Clicking the performance monitor and then just you can filter by type and then just activating or rather deactivating all the instances of Melodyne. And this will allow you to really quickly bypass or deactivate all open instances of Melodyne instead of having to open them one at a time and do it through the inspector. Anyways, that's all the time I have available for today. I hope that you enjoyed this content. If you did, please consider hitting that subscribe button. Any questions or comments, leave them down below. I'll do my absolute best to get back to you. And as always, we will catch you in the next video. Cheers.